know you. you can. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> so now, um, this time you came as Dilip, um solo artist. Yeah. But you're with um, adding in a um, Quinta. Yes. Quinta. Yes. Um, as a band together. So, but um, how did you start working with those two? Well, I've known Quinta for quite a while now. She was playing for Bat for Lashes when they opened Radiohead. That's going back some time. And, uh, and so Quinta played in my live band for my first record, Familial, and Ardem, um, whose music I'd always really been into, he um, agreed to come and play with me on that. So our kind of musical working relationship grew out of that live band for, for the first record. And so we made the, um, the second album, Weather House, together. It's the three of us, shut away in a studio. So. Did you have any kind of like uh, difficulties, like trying to find a way to work with those two? Because for you know, Adam, it's, it's the first time for you to be in studio with him, right? For the, for the new record. Yeah. What, or, or how did you enjoy the process of kind of trying to find a way to like? The, the actual process of it came together kind of effortlessly. Um, we'd, we'd done, because we'd worked together, um, you know, we knew that there was something good that was happening there. And uh, Arden was a producer as well. Um, and as I say, it was, it was a fantastic time doing that recording because, you know, I was taking time away from Radiohead at, at the time. We just had all this clear time to do it. And as I say, yeah, it fell into place really easily. I mean, it, we felt, I suppose it felt a very kind of um, intimate kind of session. You know, it was just the three of us. And I think it felt that we could, we could try lots of stuff out. Um, and we've all got, you know, very similar tastes in music. And I think it was one of those things when, when the three of us sat down and just thought, no, that's working, and it kind of, you know, that, that was, we knew we were on to something at that point. Then now you're on tour with those two as well. Yeah. You know, um, from the first album you've been touring with them for a long time, in total, I yeah. think. Yeah. But uh, has there been any um, memorable moments on tour or like funny incident or any accident that you can believe that happened to you on tour, or any funny stories, good stories, sad <laughs> stories on tour? Um, <laughs> well, um, oh, they're good company. That's that. They're, they're, they're fantastic. They're very, very funny people. Uh, they're very good with crosswords as well, and. Uh, and so, in terms of funny stories, or oh, I don't don't really know about that, but they're excellent company, um, and brilliant people to tour with, um, very lively minds, and with Chris Vatellaro, uh, the drummer as well. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a nice group of people to to travel with. Great. So, lastly, can you uh, look at? Into the camera and uh, <laughs> give your fans message, please. Hi, this is Philip Solway, and I'm here in Japan um, at the Hostess Weekender. It's been fantastic being here. So thank you to everybody who came uh, to to see my show earlier on, and I look forward to coming back at some point too. Thanks. <laughs>